I was fond of my other grandma too, and she died the same year. Only she, um, my grandma Riggs died in May, and she died at Christmas time. So I lost them both in 1930. Grandma Snow had worked in the temple all those years. As I mentioned, they had gone to Manti to work in the temple, and they continued. And on the day that she died, it was a, a bad accident and all because uh, Grandpa had come home earlier from the temple and was going to surprise her by getting uh, their dinner. And uh, he, they had a, a trap door that went down to their cellar, and he had it open. He'd gone down to get some fruit and other things to fix for supper. And she came in, and it was in the late afternoon, and it wasn't very bright, no light on, and she didn't know the trap door was open and fell down the cellar and injured herself so badly that she died the next day. And, of course, we didn't hear about it, and that was on Christmas Day of 1930 that she passed away. So I lost her. Now, she was a different type uh, person than Grandma Riggs. Uh, she was also very direct and straightforward, but she was a very happy Danish lady, and she was always... Uh, fixing goodies like the Danish do, all the pastries and the other things. She always had something delicious to feed us, and we were always willing customers. But she also was um, always looking us over and say, you didn't get yourself clean behind the ears, or you didn't do this, or here, let me help you with this. And I remember uh, one summer we'd been practicing uh, racing so that we could win a race on the 4th of July because that's how we planned to get our spending money on the 4th was by winning the race. And Reeves and I had... Um, been practicing. We sat on a, a picket fence that we had there. It was a, a kind of a board that we could kind of sit on and, and then to rest in between races. And then we'd jump off and go race again. Oh, on this one day, he grabbed hold of my hand to uh, pull me off the fence so we could go race. And it just was an unfortunate time because I hadn't sat in the usual place and there was a nail in the fence. And it injured me pretty bad. Oh, it still wasn't the 4th of July when we went up to see Grandma and she saw me sidling up to a chair very cautiously because, believe me, it was very sore where I sat down. Well, she didn't waste any uh, time. She grabbed hold of my dress, yanked it up, and says, What's the matter with you? And here was this big infected spot where the nail had uh, ripped the skin off and was all infected. And she said, Good heavens, Reen. They called me Reenie, but this time uh, she just said Reen. And she said, Good heavens, Reen, you've got an infection here that can get blood, blood poisoning. So she went and got the Lysol and a basin of water, and I was soon all doctored up. And it did get better a lot faster than after Grandma had taken care, taken care to fix it. But that was typical Grandma Snow. Did you speak with an accent? Oh, very much so. And uh, she frequently used Danish words. I learned a few Danish words, but not many. And I had a great interest. I really wanted to learn the Danish because I loved to hear her speak Danish. But I didn't learn but maybe three words uh, from her. And uh, I mortified my father one year when it was Christmas time and I went to get the mail. We always had to go to the post office to get it and um, they would give you the mail through the window. This day it was toward Christmas time and so the mail took a long time to put up. So as we stood there, I was right at the head of the line so that uh, when they raised the, the window, I would be first to get the mail, but it was just taking forever. And he got to wondering what had happened to him and he came down just in time to hear me speaking, quote, Danish for the people who were waiting there. Of course, there wasn't a word of it that was Danish, but he was mortified <laughs> to hear what I was doing. What did you say? I a clue. <laughs> but it, I didn't have any trouble making up the words, and they had a Danish accent, but they were not Danish. <laughs>